Hi, Math and Science team. This is Chris Abraham from Go Academy. I wanted to take a moment and I wanted to take a second look at this case study that we worked on at this weekend's lab for Math and Science for the new General Curriculum Math 278 exam. And I thought what I'd do is just uh, re-look at a teacher's work that, uh, that was sent in. It was sent in by Haley and she did a wonderful job breaking down the problem. And I just, I just wanted to highlight some of the great things that she did in her work involving this case study. Because I think it's going to help out a lot of teachers with how to respond to these open response extended answer questions. So first, uh, we have this case study that we worked on and we solved and we, and we know the answer to this ratio and proportion problem involving the height of the teacher and the height of the tree using uh, ratios and proportions to solve those. And we already have that math down, but let's take a closer look at how Haley went about solving the problem. Because sometimes it's not always about just getting the right answer. It's how you present the answer, how you organize the information, how you solve the problem. So let's look at these things that really work in her open response uh, answer, okay? So this first one right here is actually a picture of what she sent in originally. And you notice it has, it's a lot, there's a lot going on here. It has all the elements, it's just a little uh, crammed in. But it, directly above me, right there, she's done a wonderful job identifying the key concepts in the problem, key math concepts. Now, if you want to show off what you know, you not only identify the key concepts, but then you give nice juicy definitions and examples of what those key concepts are. So notice how, if you look closely, she gives a definition of both proportions and ratios in, the, in this case study. That's really good. She also identifies, look over here, or over here, she also puts down key formulas that you're gonna to wanna to use in this problem. And then she includes that diagram or that pic, that visual of, um, or that model drawing. So basically what she's doing in the first half of this page is she's showing all the prerequisite concepts in math that one would need to know before they solve it. So she did a very good job with that. Um, and then we get into her actual solving the problem. I'll move to the side here. You can see how she broke down the problem over there step by step. Now here was my critique of some of the things that she did. One thing was it's a little crammed. And this happens a lot when you're writing your open response. You have two scan sheets of paper and everything just gets squished together. So even though overall this looks really good, just by um, maybe dividing this up onto two pages can make a huge difference. Look what she, then she, she resubmitted this and what she did was she divide, broke it up. So on page number one, think like scan page number one, she included all the prerequisite concepts that one would need to solve a problem like this. She has the key formulas and she has that, um, instead of saying diagram, she said pictorial representation. That's a fancy way of saying picture. But that's exactly what you wanna do. You wanna show off. So here's my, here's Haley's pictorial representation. Or if you're doing a, uh, an equation, symbolic representation, however you wanna do it, or graphic representation of the problem. So we have these elements on that first sheet that um, are not crammed up and really show off what you know. And then you can use your second sheet, your second scan sheet, and you can do what she did here where she, she solved the problem. And now she has a lot more space to break down the problem. Look how cleaner it looks, how easier it is to read. It's so much easier on the eyes. You have step one, step two, step three, step four, and an answer. Notice how um, we can clearly see where this begins and we can clearly see where it ends. It's going from top to bottom. Um, we see that there's a direction. She's giving a direction. The, the step is written in imperative voice. So she's saying step one, write a proportion made up of two equal ratios with a missing variable. So she has that language piece. And then she also includes the, uh, let me point over here. Let me move my camera. She has the language sent. She has that sentence. And then she shows her work. And you see, we want to see both, both those things. You want to include language as well as computation. Language, computation. You know, you don't want it just to be a series of math computations. You want to um, um, make it a combination of a little bit of writing and math. And we break it down into these steps. She really did a nice job. There's so many nice things going on here. Um, the little details really go a long way. Like, you totally get that that's cross-multiplication going on there, right there, right? And there's some reducing going on there. 
oh, and there's some dividing going on there. So, so anyone looking at this would be able to see those things within the structure of the problem. And it's not so crammed. You know what I mean? So the grader can actually see those minor details because it's not as crammed as the first one. Okay, so look at what she did. Just very minor but major things. Very minor but major things. She took the problem. Let me get back to the slide. She broke it up into one page with prerequisite concepts, formulas, um, diagram, another page for solving the problem step by step. And what this does is it allows the grader to see all the wonderful work she has going on as opposed to everything being crammed into one sheet. Okay, team, these are just some of the things that she did to improve, the, uh, improve her work. I want to encourage everyone, if you want feedback, you're in the class, you came to the labs, you did a great job at both of the labs, I want to encourage you to uh, submit your work, get some feedback, okay? This is a great way to take your open response case studies and bring it to the next level. Get some feedback like Haley did so that you can you get a little bit better at writing these, okay? All right, team, this is Chris Abram from Go Academy. I want to thank Haley one more time for writing a great case study and helping us all learn. I hope everyone uh, submits their case studies if you want feedback, okay? All right, team, this is Chris Abram from Go Academy. Everyone have a great night. Take care. Bye, team. Okay.